In 1942, the founding members of the Edgar Slowburn Kennedy Fan Club were happy to see that their great and beloved comedian was properly receiving his due fame and respect. To make sure that the star of the Average Man Comedy Two Reeler series for RKO continued to receive this due fame and respect long after his death, the founding members of the club decided to travel 50 years into the future with their newly bought time machine to check on Edgar's status. Let us join them as they prepare to make their journey. All right, Mike, it's 7 o'clock. Let's get going. Now, you know that the exact amount of time you spend in the future is the exact amount of time we'll be got from here, right? Wait a second. I thought we would come back only a second or a minute later from now, no matter how much time we spent in the future. <laughs> Afraid not, Mike. That only works with the deluxe time machine. I tried to get one of those by bargaining with H.G. Wells over at his time machine factory, but what can I say? He wouldn't come down to price, so I uh, bought a bargain basement special instead. Take a look. Here it is, Mike. What do you think? I guess that'll do. But are you sure we'll be back in time for the premiere of Slowbird and Edgar Cayce's new comedy short tonight? Oh, yeah. Just as long as we don't spend more than eight hours there, we're set. Now, come on. Let's do the Edgar Slowbird and Kennedy worship. All right. Let's get the Slowbird sign to go. What a terrible gestemony. No, my fucking out. It's too horrible. What? This is what has become of our beloved Slowburn Edgar? The world has gone completely mad. This lack of Slowburn Edgar Kate veneration is, is, is appalling. talking about? Why is Edgar Slowburn Kennedy the object of your hatred? Because he annoys us with a stupid slow burn. It is so slow and agonizing to watch. We have no patience for such nonsense. We worship Fastburn Jenkins now. He gets mad right away. Much more delightful. Now off you two go. Sorry to say this, but I'm afraid we're going to have to use the slow burn spray. I can't believe it's come down to this. Poor Edgar. Yeah, I know. But we have to break out of here for precisely that reason. Edgar will be avenged. Come on, we've got to remedy the terrible state of affairs this world is in. Boy, jails aren't what they used to be. Yeah, you said it, Mike. Come on, this way.
Okay, Mike. Now give me that fan you stole from that window of that house down the street. Just plug it into the satellite here. Now, as soon as I release a slow burn spray into the air, the power of the fan will blow it all across the world, making every citizen worship the slow burn master once again. Let's try it out. What do we do now? Well, we'll check the town to see if it's worked. Look, Brad, Edgar Slowburn K is back in favor. Uh, oh. uh. You're right, Mike. We've done it. Let's get back to the time machine. Look, the anti-Edgar signs have been cut down. Oh, Edgar. You are truly avenged. Your spirit will live on through the centuries. Brad is seven o'clock, just in time for Edgar's new short. Let's get down to the theater. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, look! It's one of Florence Lake. That's swell. That was almost too much of a wonderful thing. Mm. 20 minutes of pure Elysium. No doubt about that, Mike. <sighs> what ecstasy. Edgar's the perfect anodyne. We really lived. You know, that would be the perfect way to go. Watching Edgar Slowburn Kennedy on the big screen. Mm. Oh, what a glorious death that would be. Come on, let's do the Slowburn worship. Wonderful. Just think, dear, it's Brother Winsor, $10,000, and you can stick with him, and you'll each have 